One of the things that I do as a health coach is to keep growing in my journey in all different areas. One of the places that I'm doing a lot of personal development in right now is just body image, body image work. I think it is so important and sometimes it's, it's, um, it's skipped. So I want to tell you a little bit about what, um, what's standing out to me right now. So if you had a friend around that stated things, stated statements such as this, would you keep them around? You are ugly. You are fat. You have too many wrinkles. You are disgusting. So do you, does your self-worth equal how you look at yourself? So are you making these statements to yourself? So this stomach comes from having two children that have extremely blessed my life. These wrinkles come from many amazing years of, of living and loving life. This nose, it was a gift from my dad and his genetics. This thin hair up front that you can't see because I'm wearing a hat today. Um, this thin fine hair is a gift from my mom and my grandma, my grandma Dolly and my dad. So how can we navigate life with an inner voice that condemns us, that demoralizes us, that hates us? So I want to share with you something that um, you may recognize from other Facebook lives that I've done, or if you work with me, I talk about it all the time. Stop, challenge, and choose. So the very first thing that I'm going to challenge you to do is to recognize when you start saying these things to yourself. And then this is, this is going to be a tough one. So you stop and then verbally say what you actually said to yourself, like as if, like as if you're going to say that to somebody else. So, oh, you are so fat. Verbally speak that and look at it and see how ugly that is. And think about whether or not you would allow somebody to say that to you. And then challenge yourself. Is it true? I mean, if you're looking at your stomach, think about, you know, maybe it's you have had children. Or if it's the wrinkle, wrinkles, think about the years that you've had and think of some of the memories that have really blessed you. Um, so challenge those thoughts and, and stop and think, okay, well, why is it like that? And then choose. Are you going to keep talking to yourself like that? Do you deserve to be talked like that? I know you don't. I know I don't. So I'd really love to have you start using this stop, challenge, and choose. And one more little thing I'd like to add in there that I'd like to challenge you to is sit down and write on a piece of paper, what do you like about yourself? You know, um, I like that I have blue eyes. I like my eyes. Um, I like my back. You can actually see the muscle definition in my back. Um, I like that I don't have a royalty toe. My second toe isn't longer than the rest of them. What do you like? I like that I have smaller fingers. I like that I have nice fingernails now. What do you like? Do some focusing on what do you like? 
and just bask in those things. Give yourself some compliments. Negate those negative thoughts. So I hope that this has been enlightening to you. I hope that this is something that you will use. And I hope that you will um, live in your greatness, live in your, live in those um, compliments that you give yourself. I hope you're able to have a brighter day by using this tool, the Stop, Challenge, and Choose. And I would love to have you put in the comments, is this something that you battle with? Or just message me. I would love to hear if this is something that you're going to use or if you just want some accountability and you want me to ask you every now and again, I'd love to jump in and just say, hey, how are you doing with that? Because you truly deserve the compliments. You truly deserve to live a life full of um, the positives, not the negatives. So don't forget. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. All right. Have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you all soon.